In this example we will control a light button, a, a light bulb, uh, using two uh, light switches. And the, the function of the program is to demonstrate the use of case structures. So I'll just drop down to a light, an LED which will represent my light, and then two light uh, switches. We call this one switch one. Just resize the switch. Press and hold the control button and drag a second switch. And now I would like to put in my numeric indicator. And I'll just increase the um, the size of the uh, the font so you can see it more clearly. And I'll pull it out a little bit just so you can see more than one digit. So now onto the back panel. Here on the back panel I'm going to insert my event structure and if I right click on the border of the event structure and I then I can click on events handled by this case and the first structure I would like to monitor what's happening with switch 1. So I click on switch 1 and then click on value change. Now it's best practice to actually put switch 1 then inside this case structure. I then drop down a local variable which I'll call light and connect the light switch to it. Now to increment the counter. So I drop down two local variables and the plus one function between uh, two of the, the variables. Here now we um, set the variables to numeric and the one on the left needs to be changed to uh, set to read. So it's outputting the value from the numeric. We add one to that and then we write that new value into the variable numeric. So we increment the value numeric by one each time this case structure is uh, executed. And then we add a new case structure and in the second case structure we set it up to monitor uh, switch 2. So we put in switch 2 and the same piece of code goes in here. So again our uh, local variable light which is wired in with our boolean input from the light switch two numeric values are two local variables which we will set to numeric so just copy that press the control button add the increment between set a local variable to numeric change to read, wire in plus one and out to the new uh, numeric value. So now if I go to the front panel and run the VI, you can see that when I press the light, or press the switch rather, the light will turn off and on and you'll see the numeric value increasing. Now if you look closely what's actually happening is the numeric value is increasing when I turn on and off the light switch. So I would like to change this to just register when the light goes on and not have a, a double count as it were. So here I'm putting in a case structure and inside the case structure I will uh, drop the increment code section. I'll do the same on the second, so just draw a case structure around it. And we will wire in the Boolean true false value from the light switch, so that only when the light gets a true value will the case structure run the code to increment. So there you will see when I run it continuously, the light goes on and the increment is increased by one. So finally I would like to put in a while loop over all of my code and the while loop will ensure that the uh, program code does not demand all of the resources from the PC. Uh, outside of the uh, the while loop I'll put in my 
global variable numeric and I will uh, set that to zero initially so I initialize that I put a zero into it on the outside so when I run the program it will set that to zero and as I said finally what I would like to do is put a little time delay inside the loop so when the loop runs it will pause for 100 milliseconds and that will give the PC some time to do additional work and finally a condition to stop the loop so right click and create a control and that will put a stop sign on the front of the uh, control on the front panel so now when I run it you can see I indic it increments by one each time I press the light on okay so hope that helps thank you